All right, I'm with Lee from Castle Creations, and as you know, they do a lot of stuff with brushless motors these days. And with brushless motors, you have to be careful with their operating temperature. Now, Lee, what kind of temperature do you look for when you're running a brushless motor? It's going to vary by the motor, okay? But for the Castle motors, we recommend 180 degrees Fahrenheit as the max. Now, the cooler you can keep it, the better, but 180F is as far as you really should go with it. Now what happens if you go a little bit hotter than 180 degrees? Well that's a secret as to what temperature they actually demagnetize at. But what happens is if you overheat the magnets, they demagnetize, they lose their magnetism and that just causes the, the KV to skyrocket so the motor tries to spin more quickly which only causes it to load up more amperage and you just get this runaway chain reaction of heat and uh, it, you'll, you'll do a lot of damage to the controller and to your motor and everything else if you run it too hot. So, you, so you're not really damaging the motor itself, you're damaging it, but you're also damaging other equipment possibly in your car. So oh, sure. you really want to just stick within that temperature range so you don't ruin your speed control as well. And well it's a system. Yeah. It's a system. And if any one part goes bad, it, it damages, it has a good potential of damaging the rest. So. And now if, let's say you're at 180 degrees or whatever you say the max is, like how do you lower that temperature of your motor? Gearing is, is the number one way to modify your gearing so you're not uh, requiring as much torque out of the motor. All right. Well, great. Well, thank you for the tip. And uh, you guys, uh, electric guys out there, time to get a temp gun. Keep track of that motor temp.